You know, as a Christian who seeks to live in a community, that's a church, you're going to begin, renew, and develop relationships. And the book of 3 John is really very relational. There's three main characters in this book that John is writing to. Now, these names may be a bit archaic. You may not find them in your contact list or on your social media feed this week. But there's three names, Gaius, Diotrephes, and Demetrius. And the first and the latter, Gaius and, and Demetrius, are individuals that John says, gosh, these guys are just, they're doing so well. I want to encourage you. I want to exhort you just to keep pursuing Jesus. But there's one individual, Diotrephes, who he gives a stern warning to. Let me read two scriptures, 3 John chapter 4 and 3 John 11, that highlight this. Verse 4, he says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in truth. And in verse 11, he says, Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. For anyone who does what is good is from God, and anyone who does what is evil has not even seen God. See, here's the truth from the book of 3 John. Our lifestyles need to align with the truth that we profess to believe. And John goes on to say that, listen, I've got no greater joy to see those whom I've invested in to be walking with the Lord. And these two individuals, Gaius and Demetrius, says, you guys are doing it. Diotrephes, listen, if your lifestyle doesn't align with the truth of the word of God, he's saying the proof is in the pudding. You don't know the Lord. Because over time, fruit is produced through our attitudes, beliefs, choices, and decisions. And he says ever so clearly, listen, allow your lives, your choices, who you are, be directed and conformed by the Word of God, by your relationship with God. You see, as you go through life and you, you make relationships and you meet new people, I want to encourage you, just as John would, to live life well, but also to surround yourself with those who are living life according to God's Word. As John says here, dear friend, don't imitate what is evil, but what is good. You and I both know that community shapes and impacts our identity. Who we hang with, we become like. So today, choose well in the friends that you connect with and live well, live according to God's word and walk in truth just as these two individuals did here in 3 John.